Natural disasters in India, many of them related to the climate of India, cause massive losses of life and property. Droughts, flash floods, cyclones, avalanches, landslides brought on by torrential rains, and snowstorms pose the greatest threats. A natural disaster might be caused by earthquakes, flooding, volcanic eruption, landslides, hurricanes etc. In order to be classified as a disaster it will have profound environmental effect and or human loss and frequently incurs financial loss. Other dangers include frequent summer dust storms, which usually track from north to south, they cause extensive property damage in North India and deposit large amounts of dust from arid regions. Hail is also common in parts of India, causing severe damage to standing crops such as rice and wheat and many more crops. Landslides and avalanches Landslides are very common indeed in the lower Himalayas. The young age of the region's hills result in rock formations, which are susceptible to slippages. Rising population and development pressures, particularly from logging and tourism, cause deforestation. The result is denuded hillsides which exacerbate the severity of landslides, since tree cover impedes the downhill flow of water. Parts of the Western Ghats also suffer from low-intensity landslides. Avalanches occurrences are common in Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, and Sikkim etc. <inaudible> Floods in India Floods are the most common natural disaster in India. The heavy southwest monsoon rains cause the Brahmaputra and other rivers to distend their banks, often flooding surrounding areas. Though they provide rice paddy farmers with a largely dependable source of natural irrigation and fertilization, the floods can kill thousands and displace millions. Excess, erratic, or untimely monsoon rainfall may also wash away or otherwise ruin crops. Almost all of India is flood prone, and extreme precipitation events, such as flash floods and torrential rains, have become increasingly common in central India over the past several decades, coinciding with rising temperatures. Meanwhile, the annual precipitation totals have shown a gradual decline, due to a weakening monsoon circulation as a result of the rapid warming in the Indian Ocean and a reduced land sea temperature difference. This means that there are more extreme rainfall events intermittent with longer dry spells over central India in the recent decades. <inaudible> Cyclones in India Intertropical convergence zone, may affect thousands of Indians living in the coastal regions. Tropical cyclogenesis is particularly common in the northern reaches of the Indian Ocean in and around the Bay of Bengal. Cyclones bring with them heavy rains, storm surges, and winds that often cut affected areas off from relief and supplies. In the North Indian Ocean Basin, the cyclone season runs from April to December, with peak activity between May and November. Each year, an average of eight storms with sustained wind speeds greater than 63 km per hour, 39 miles per hour form. Of these, two strengthen into true tropical cyclones, which have sustained gusts greater than 117 km per hour, 73 miles per hour. On average, a major, category 3 or higher, cyclone develops every other year. During summer, the Bay of Bengal is subject to intense heating, giving rise to humid and unstable air masses that produce cyclones. Many powerful cyclones, including the 1737 Calcutta cyclone, the 1970 Bola cyclone, the 1991 Bangladesh cyclone and the 1999 Odisha cyclone have led to widespread devastation along parts of the eastern coast of India and neighbouring Bangladesh. Widespread death and property destruction are reported every year in exposed Tamil Nadu, and West Bengal. India's western coast, bordering the more placid Arabian Sea, experiences cyclones only rarely, these mainly strike Gujarat and, less frequently, Kerala. In terms of damage and loss of life, Cyclone 05B, a supercyclone that struck Odisha on 29 October 1999, was the worst in more than a quarter century. With peak winds of 160 miles per hour, 257 kilometers per hour, it was the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane. Almost 2 million people were left homeless, another 20 million people's lives were disrupted by the cyclone. Officially, 9,803 people died from the storm. Unofficial estimates place the death toll at over 10,100. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Climate change impacts Monsoon The India Meteorological Department has declared that water cycle will be more intense, with higher annual average rainfall as well increased drought in future years. A 20% rise in monsoon over most states is also predicted. A 2 degrees Celsius rise in global average temperature will make Indian monsoon highly unpredictable. At 4 degrees Celsius an extremely wet monsoon which currently has a 1 in 100 years chance will occur in every 10 years by 2100. Extremes in maximum and minimum temperatures and precipitation will increase particularly over western coast and central and northeast India. The dry years are expected to be drier and wet years wetter due to climate change. Rivers and glaciers. The per capita availability of freshwater in India is expected to drop below 1,000 cubic metres by 2025 because of population growth and climate change. River basins of Kaveri, Penna, Mahi, Sabarmati, Tapi, Luni and few others are already water scarce. Krishna and Subarnarika may become so by 2025. High population density, coastal flooding and saltwater intrusion and exposure to storm surges makes Ganga, Godavari, Krishna and Mahanadi coastal river deltas hotspots of climate change vulnerability. Glaciers are the main source of water for the Himalayan rivers such as Ganga, Brahmaputra and Indus. 67% of Himalayan glaciers have receded in the past decade and continue to diminish with increasing rates. The Ganga and the Indus are likely to become water scarce by 2025. Since 1962, the overall glacier area has reduced by 21% from 2,077 square kilometers to 1,628 square kilometers. This will lead to water shortages becoming acuter with time and may endanger food security and energy generation. Topic: Sea level rise. Rise in sea temperature and sea level leads to loss of marine ecosystems and biodiversity, salination, erosion and flooding and also increases occurrence and intensity of storms along entire shoreline. Climate change impacts are already observed in submergence of coastal lands in the Sundarbans, loss of wetlands and of coral reefs by bleaching, and an estimated sea level rise of 1.06 to 1.75 mm per year. Low-end scenarios estimate sea levels in Asia will be at least 40 cm higher by 2100. The IPCC calculates that it would expose 13 to 94 million people to flooding, with about 60% of this total in South Asia. A sea level rise of 100 cm would inundate 5,763 cubic km of India's landmass. It will severely affect populations in megacities like Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai due to land submergence and extreme weather events. Increase in sea surface temperature increases frequency, intensity, scale and destructive power of tropical cyclones. <laughs> Droughts, heat waves and sand storms 500 MHA land in the Asia-Pacific region is already experiencing land degradation. The summers have already become more intense in India with some regions regularly reporting temperatures around 45 degrees Celsius. In the last four years, India has seen as many as over 4,620 deaths caused by heat waves. According to data published by the Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India, Indian Meteorological Department declared that the storm that hit northern India in May 2018 was severe and their frequency could increase due to global warming. This is due to increase in the intensity of the wind and dryness of the soil, which increases the intensity of dust storms. The rise in land surface temperature will be more pronounced in the northern part of India. A recent study reports that summers could last up to eight months in the Gangetic Plain by 2070 if the global temperature increases beyond 2 degrees Celsius. Increasingly severe and frequent heat waves may substantially increase mortality and death incidences. Such warming conditions along with the water scarcities aggravates the impacts of droughts. Topic. 
See also Effects of climate change on South Asia Floods in India Topic Citations Topic Further reading <citations> 